Real quick, time is running out if you want yourself a Country Ball plushie. As I've said many other times before, this is the only chance to ever get these. To my surprise, actually the Canadian ball is selling the best, over a thousand so far. I for some reason thought the British ball was going to be the most popular, but it's remained about a hundred behind the whole time. I'm guessing there's just a lot of Americans that love Canada, surprisingly. Because there's technically a lot more British folks out there than Canadians. So yeah, I'm thinking the US is helping out here. Then there's poor Australia that's been in third place, but you know what? I'm genuinely surprised. This little guy is being bought up way more than I thought he would. I was kind of just hoping he got funded to get to that 200 limit. I just really want to see someone order one and then bounce it off the face of an emu. So check out that link down below and I'll be bringing more Country Ball plushies to you in the future. Portuguese history outside of Europe versus Portuguese history in Europe. I've mastered the ability to stand so incredibly still that I've become invisible to the eye. Yeah, you guys can say that again. I've always thought the fact that Portugal was just able to exist throughout their entire history is incredible. I mean, there were a few times where it did seem like they were going to disappear, especially during those Iberian unions with Spain. Then they also punched way above their weight with their colonial empire. They ended up creating one of the biggest new world countries even today. But yeah, they weren't necessarily seen as the good guys outside of Europe. The Portuguese about to drop all of their claims. Oh yeah, this is coming from that treaty from 1479. I want all of Africa, please. While Spain, France, Italy, the UK, Germany just stare at them blankly. Like, okay, little buddy. Again, I covered it last week, but I think I got the map wrong. Basically, this treaty allowed Portugal to get half the world and Spain to get the other half. So I guess this is kind of why they thought they should get all of Africa in instead of everyone else. Like how they basically stuck to this plan, like Spain made all their colonies over here. And I guess this is why Portugal just invested so much in Brazil. When you convert to Christianity, but the Romans put you in the ranked 1v1 queue to fight a lion. I wonder what the technique would even be to fight a lion and survive. I mean, obviously you've got to go for the eyes somehow. So maybe like give it an arm and then jam your thumb into one of the sockets. That is assuming you don't just get pawed instantly in the face. I'm a European royal with inherited mental physical illness due to decades of intergenerational inbreeding. Yeah, yeah, you and everybody else here, buddy. This is also me trying to be special at family reunions. I wasn't actually that special since I was born in Alabama. Norwegians on their way to circulate so much freaking illegal press. I guess this has something to do with World War II and no-no German occupation. During WW2, one of the main things the Norwegian resistance did was spread news and they spread a lot of it. Who would win? 1500 years of tradition or a single poop post. Ah uh, yes, Martin Luther, the ultimate poop poster. I guess that's one way to look at it. He was basically a 16th century memer, and it still stands the test of time. European kings throughout history, when they know they have to make a peace treaty with their enemies because they simply can't afford to start a war. Time to bust out with the Valentine's Day cards. I tell my daughter she's not gonna go live in Spain. History buffs, when the history test is about the Industrial Revolution, and not about how many anime no-no Germans they can name, or how many anime tank and warship girls there are. Oh, you're gonna be good though. This is just about the Industrial Revolution. Just talk about all the consequences that came from it. I rule the top three wealthiest nations on earth. When do I become rich, says Spain. That's the neat part. You don't, responds the Netherlands. Yeah, Philip II defaulted on Spanish debt several times during his reign. This is eventually a factor for the Dutch movement of independence. Speaking of inbreeding, I am always shocked just how crazy the House of Habsburg got. I always forget that Spain basically controlled the Netherlands for a little bit of time there too. They just had so much. The French watching the English steal half of their lexicon and butcher the pronunciation. Lexicon being the vocabulary of a person. We do have a lot of words with French origins in English. I try to make the French happy by pronouncing it only Croissant. The Normans controlled England for around 300 years after the Battle of Hastings. So I guess we didn't really have a choice using those French terms though. Ottoman princes calculating how many of their relatives they need to kill after becoming Sultan. Okay, there's Marty, Jennifer, John. Maybe only eight more after that? Wait, Jennifer, I don't think they need to worry about Jennifer. I guess you could just throw her on top of it as well though. I mean, no one likes Jennifer. Ah, uh, sorry, I don't do dinner. You don't do dinner? No, no dinner. Why? Ooh. I don't usually ask twice, but um... <laughs> Oh, so now you're interested. Well, I like tanks. <laughs> well, this is the greatest video. No tank. Ah! Oh. I thought he was gonna shoot. Never mind. When your crush doesn't reply to your carrier pigeon within five minutes, how dare you betray my loyalty? How many relationships were ended because the bird just got distracted? We can only guess. I didn't even know carrier pigeons were most often used in British expeditionary forces. It seems easy to tell like a pigeon to go from one ship to another though. They had over 22,000 pigeons in the military basically. Royal House is calculating the best marriage option to have the most inbred dynasty in history. And as we talked about earlier, no one did it better than the Habsburgs. Penguins after they 
realize some bearded New Zealander is going to spend the next 30 years harvesting their blubber, sorry, blubber for oil. I don't know what blubber is, but it sounds pretty gruesome. Between 1890 and 1919, over 2 million penguins were gone. Finally, we have a way to use this format with New Zealand. This is New Zealand to most of the world, and I guess apparently this is New Zealand to penguins. Thank goodness the no-no Germans were stopped from destroying Paris and Rome. We could have lost so much real- Meanwhile, Warsaw. They probably weren't too happy about losing cultural heritage and things like that. Warsaw has definitely seen a lot and they have probably had many buildings destroyed. Around 80% of the buildings laid in ruins to be exact. Egyptians building projects. It's time to build another pyramid. No, why must I build 100 meter triangle just to serve as versus Roman building projects? Citizens of Rome desire another bath complex. Let's build one. Of course, my emperor. Is that for debate though? I thought some of the pyramid builders were paid. I don't even know. Crusaders versus versus the Arabs all the while. Just out of nowhere, this major force was gonna ruin everything. Nobody, once again, can defeat the Mongols. Being given a nice steak dinner in the trenches. People who know versus people who don't know. Yeah, that can pretty much be considered a last meal for you there, buddy. Soldiers were fed hearty meals, then forced over the top at gunpoint at, oh, okay. All that to gain like three yards too. Some person literally gets their head cut off most of the French people, but this guy was definitely an enjoyer of it. He liked it a little bit too much, I think. The French Revolution in a nutshell. Scientists trying to find a cure for most illnesses in the beginning of the 20th century. Meanwhile, Alexander Flaming discovering penicillin because he was too lazy to clean his petri dish. Throughout history, it just seems like so many of the greatest inventions came from laziness or just some weird thing. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be the only one that noticed that. Wife asks him to shoot chicken hawk, goes missing for two years, comes back and says that chicken hawk just kept flying. And and refuses to elaborate further. Well, you did kind of elaborate, and that's all that needed to be said. He was a notorious big game hunter, houndsman, and mountain man. He hunted down the largest grizzlies, cougars, and black bears. Catherine the Great and Peter the Third on their wedding night. Babe, we need to consummate our marriage. Am I saying that right? Not yet. Not until my toy soldiers finish this battle. That's gonna be me and my wife, except I'll be playing with my bionicles, and my wife will actually be a body pillow. Rome the original. We have vanquished all our enemies. Our city is the capital of the most powerful civilization ever exist. Constantinople II, we survived a thousand years of war. Our city is the beacon of civilization, beauty, and prosperity. Meanwhile, Moscow, the third Rome. Our economy is ruined, as is our international prestige. Yeah, as most trilogies go, there does tend to be one that's not so good as the others. Some British nerd looking for Radio Luxembourg and accidentally tuning into a heist. Uh, yeah, you can uh, definitely say that again. They're referring to the Baker Street robbery. Here comes the <laughs> sun again. That's what the Japanese said in Nagasaki. Okay, gonna go back down. I actually feel like I heard about this. This was in 1971. A gang tunneled 40 feet from a rented shop two doors away to come through the floor vault. Northern Europe during the 19th century, both Nordic Germanicisms and German Nordicisms meeting in the middle. Germany did this kind of a lot, you know, tearing down walls and shaking the man's hand on the other side. I guess it was done throughout their history. On April 15th, 1970, during a slingshot maneuver around the moon to get the crippled Apollo 13 spacecraft back to Earth, Jim Lovell got further away from Ohio than any other Ohioan in history. Or in other words, he was the most happiest Ohioan to ever exist. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just like the perfect setup. I had to say that. It was a funny meme though. Opinion, France and Italy's rising tensions are as high as World War II. Should we be worried? Considering how useless both countries were in WW2, no. Ooh, I wasn't actually expecting that one. Okay. How I thought the Allies came together to beat the Axis. It's all just rainbows and butterflies versus how they actually work together to beat the Axis. Frick you, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Gotta put aside the differences when there's a big baddie in town. For some reason, I think the right side makes it even more fantastic. Their dislike for one another probably made them more effective. The U.S. government, when the Cherokee Nation asked them where they were sending them, in the middle of, uh, basically Oklahoma. This one brings a tear to my eye. USS Nevada survives Pearl Harbor, D-Day, Okinawa, and two nukes. Yeah, I don't know how this battleship was so powerful. It just did not want to go down. We shouldn't remove from life innocent children, says Imperial Japan, but we should remove from life guilty children, right? Not really surprised this is coming from Imperial Japan. George Washington and General Howe. Washington ordering a ceasefire to return General Howe's missing dog. Whoa, what a legend. When you realize future generations need to learn more history than us, Ah, that's what you think, but in reality, they're just gonna gloss over way more stuff. The amount of stuff my public school glossed over is actually scary to me now. Plants after humans killed large mammals, you freed us! Humans, oh, I wouldn't say freed, more like under new management. Hey, some were gonna enjoy it a lot. We were gonna spread them all around the world. Like what, is that wheat and corn and so many others? U.S. drops little boy on Hiroshima. Japan, we will never surrender. Oh no! 
We're not done yet, responds the USA. But wait, there's more. I just wonder where it's gonna hit next. Stalin, after WW2, be like, I did it. I saved the world. Meanwhile, having the highest civilian military casualty count in the world, occupying the Eastern Bloc, defaming and detaining war heroes. Oh yeah, and of course, the Cold War. This is pretty much that SpongeBob format, the we save the city, except John Tron edition. Like I said in the very beginning, if you're interested, please go over to makeship.com and get your hands on some plushies. I really like to just talk about this a lot because there's always people coming at me like after the campaign is over asking to get these to get these balls it's like i can't do anything it's over i, I like i don't have any it's not i have no power and big thanks to by saying this i agree to be a sussy bucka Ooh. luxembourg lover. drew's argentinian fat Grandpa. nuts alex whitley is mega alfonso chad. m6 a fat angel Sono. bring w. back poland ball he he xd jocko majestic Bruni. unicorn marco Hindera. max cooper mimo shaky five six ten philip rf robert e rye the, the mexican seven why am i doing this william the conqueror thank you